Hey, my name is Alfredo from the uh, California Supreme Kit, and my purpose this morning is to show you the kit, what's in the kit, and go over all the procedures, give you an idea of what the examiner is going to be looking for when you take your state board exam. Now, when you take your state board exam, you're going to be doing the practical first, and the practical happens at 7.15 in the morning. Now, we want you there at 6. Now, why would you know, we want you there an hour before? I'm going to do another demonstration where for the last time, again, I show you the kit, what's in the kit, and go over all the procedures. So everything will still be fresh in your mind when you take the exam an hour later. So just remember to be there at 6. The exam starts at 7, though. All right, so then we walk you to the board. We're located next door to where you're going to be taking the exam, right? Then we walk you to the board. Then you're going to go up to the fourth floor. They're going to assign you. They're going to assign you a room more or less like this one. But there'll be four stations on one side, four more on the other side. If everybody makes it that one day, there's going to be eight applicants per room, and there'll be like four rooms going, one exam. So four of you on one side, four of you on the other side, right? Okay, so then they're going to give you a briefing. After the briefing, the examiner will say to you, well, not to you, but to everyone in that one room, she'll say, you got 10 minutes to set up for all your general surprise. Okay, the station that they give you is about six, with six feet wide, six feet tall, has shelves, so the kid is going to go into the shelves. I'm just going to spread it here, okay? So again, 10 minutes to set up for all your general supplies. So we'll open the package, and you'll find a package of towels right here. Okay, we'll put it there. We have a package here that says basic facial and hair removal of the eyebrows. There's two services right there, right? And you have another package that says manicure and a sculpture nail. That's two more. Okay, I'll put it over here. All right, then you have your blow drying styling thermal irons. That's one more. You have a box over here that says clean equipment for all heavy classes. That's four in there. We'll come back to that. Then we'll put it right here in the corner. Then you have a box that says table set up. Put it at your station. And you have a smaller one that says sew your equipment for the dirty implements to go into. You open, throw the dirty implements in there, and close it. So now you have taken everything out of the bag. Simply take the bag and put it down to your station like that okay so then within this 10 minutes you need to set up your station as well so you're gonna open here and right hanging right here you'll find a trash bag take the trash bag attach it to either side of your station whichever side that you want this is for your trash this side or the other side whichever side that you want you'll find look for a bottle that says quads here okay and the square quads right at your station with a paper towel clean it throw the paper towel away that, that way you can put your things on top you have a hand sanitizer, okay, you'll have a spray bottle, they'll tell you when to get the water in there. And you have a bag for the dirty towels. Okay, so it's soil your towels. Alright, so then put this bag inside the other one just like that and just keep dumping the towels in there. And that's basically the setting up. So you get 10 minutes of that. Now what, what if it happens to finish in 5 minutes, can you move on? No because everybody is allowed the 10 minutes. So maybe some people still on packets, you gotta wait, okay? Unless everybody finish, and then the examiner can go and move on to the next one. The examiner is the one that's gonna tell you everything that you're gonna do. She's gonna tell you what service to, you know, to, you know, to do, how many, uh, how many minutes you get to set up for those implements, how much time you have for that service, how much time you have left, and when to stop. So the, all the, all the exam, you know, exam is on verbal instructions. There's nothing written down anymore, okay? So now questions, anyone on the, um, on the unpacking of all your general supplies? Any questions on that? Okay, all right. So then the examiner says, well, you got two minutes to set up for the blow drying and thermal irons. Okay, so then what you do again is you take your quads, right? You quad your station with a paper towel, clean that, sanitize your hands, and get the package out for the blow, blow dry installing thermal irons, okay? Now, there'll be an outlet over here where you plug in the blow dry and curling iron, so you plug them in. Now, and I know the service, I'm gonna show you how you work this out, but you have, we have here a towel, okay? It's a, it, where you're gonna put the towel on top, and on top of the towel, you're gonna put the implements, right? Okay, like the round brush, the brim brush, and so on. Then you're going to drape your model with the cape. The cape is right in here. Use one towel. Okay, so 
you drape your model. Okay. So you use one towel and put it back. You want to put it here. Okay. So then, okay, after you, you drape it, then you need to wet the hair. What they want you to do here, they're going to give you 10 minutes for the blow drying and 10 minutes for the irons. But first, they say you got 10 minutes to blow dry. They want you to blow dry the top part and the side part of the head. So what we suggest, again, is what we suggest, right? So basically, you have the head here. So you're going to go like this right here, part over here, and then here come down. So you're going to have this section right here. That's the one that you're going to blow dry and you know that that part, top part and the side part. The rest of the hair just kind of clamp it a little, okay? So then you wet that section and you blow dry that section. After you blow dry, which you get 10 minutes for that, then you you finish and she go, you got 10 minutes for the you know for the uh, curling irons. So they want you to make they want you to make three curls on top and four on the side. So now we got this section right here. So what you do is you go here and get this section and that one is not going to be more than three inches wide which is what they want okay and it's going to be three curls so will fit right there too so you, you know you, you make a curl so what they want you to do with the irons they want you to test them that's why we provide that's why we provide the sonics right in there so you can test them and as you're rolling it down no marks on the hair and as you get it close to the scalp to use a comb to protect the scalp so you make three curls one two and three that's what the section, you know, will, will you know fit right in there. And then on this side, you got this on the side, right? So you make your four curls in there. One, two, three, four, using the same stuff. Okay, and that's how the blow dry. The blow dry is real simple. Because I've I seen some people that like to bring, you know, bring their own blow dry. They have like a huge one like that. And the only blow dry in the spot right here. So this will do for you. Okay, they're included in the kit, all right? We, you don't have to bring your own. We have them, okay? Alright, so anyways, you blow dry and you know, make a curls and you're done. So then you put everything away. After you put everything away, then she goes, you got two minutes to set up for the hair cutting. Okay, so then you quash your station again, okay, with a paper towel, clean it, throw the paper towel away, sanitize your hands, and get the package for the hair cut. Right here, hair cutting. So take this protected covering out, which is a towel, put it right here. We include in here a Sanix, we'll get to that in a second. You have four cl four clamps, you get into section in four, couple of combs, razor, and scissors. So you have everything that you need. You get into back and I place it right here. Okay, so now, you know, you have a Sanix because on the on the previous service, even though they say that you can use the same same cape, same towel through the whole exam, it kind of doesn't work that way. Because on the previous one, we did use a towel now we're gonna, you know, we're gonna cut the hair, and if you leave the towel here, all the hair is gonna stay on that towel, so it doesn't work. So you remove, remove that towel and put a Sanix. Okay, you section in four. After you section in four, okay, all right. Then you establish a guideline on the back. So now you have your guideline down here. So you have it, and you need to cut the guideline first. You need to cut it with the razor. So you cut the guideline. After you cut the guideline with the with the razor, you need to cut the whole nape area. Okay, with the razor, but this time you elevating, you're elevating the hair because it's got to be a layer cut, right? So the whole nape is basically like maybe halfway the ear right here. So it'll be like this much all the way across. That's what you're going to cut with the razor elevating, you know, the hair. After you cut the whole nape area with the razor, you throw it in here, okay? Sanitize your hands and then pick up your scissors and cut one inch on the whole head, right, with the, with the scissors. But again, doing you know, doing layers. And it doesn't matter, some, some people have, you know, short layers, some people have long layers, it really doesn't matter, it's whatever else. And the degree really, you know, belongs to you as long as it's in layers, okay? Now, what if your model has hair bangs here? You gotta cut them as well. If you don't cut that, then you, you know, you're, you're, you're not cutting, you know, one inch on the whole head and you lose your points, okay? Now, you have to cut one inch, right? Okay, now, some, sometimes, you know, one of the things that has been happening Okay, and since the new exam started like a month and a half ago, these people have been bringing models with long hair. And that's not very wise. Why? I guess because the haircut you can do layers, and then people will be bringing models with this hair this long. And that's not very good. You have less time now than you used to. You used to do one section on the relax, on the color, one section. Now you're doing two sections. Okay, you're doing the light here and the retouch here for the same amount of time. Okay, and people, whoever fails the practical portion of the exam, okay, fails it because they're not able to finish the service because long hair. So don't bring a model with long hair. You used to bring grandmas. People don't bring grandmas anymore. 
you know, you bring your sister who, who you know, who is about 15 years old, because you can bring as long as she has like it from DMV, long, a lot of hair and long, not very good. Okay, so go back to your grandma, right? Now get the door and ask her. Okay, all right. So anyways, so you finish cutting, cutting the one inch on the whole head, right? Then you check it yourself to make sure that it's well blended, satisfied with the haircut. Then you step back. That's how the examiner knows that you finish a service by taking two <coughs> steps back, right? You step back. Examiner comes over and checks the haircut. She'll ask you, "Can I borrow your comb?" You'll give you your comb, and she'll check it on the side, she check it on the top, on the bottom. After she checks it, says fine, thank you, and then you have to clean up. Go get the broom, the dust one, come back and sweep the hair from the floor. And all these implements go here. Okay, the dirty implements go inside the soil box. Okay, the Sanex, remove the Sanex, and I'll tell you why in a few minutes, the towel, okay, go inside the soil towel bag, you throw them in there, right? And now you're done. You're waiting. If you finish like in maybe 25 minutes, then you put everything away, then you still gotta wait until she says, you got two minutes to set up for the chemical waiting for the next one. Can you um, sanitize your table, or do you have to wait till the next one? Oh, you week? have to wait for her to come over to check the haircut. Oh, okay. And she's no, gotta no, no. check it. Um, like, after she says, like, okay, you can put your stuff away. You well, she's not going to say that, but she says, thank you very much. She goes to someone else, and then you start putting things away. That's correct. Uh -huh. And you want to do it that way, yes. Yeah, okay. Because, you know, because what happens is that some people wait until the time is up. And now she goes, you got two minutes to drop the next one, and you got to put everything away. So you're correct. In other words, you know, you got a few minutes before the uh, time is up, start putting everything away once she checks it. So uh, at the time she gets, you got two minutes to set up for the chemical waving, all the stuff is clean. You're ready for the next one. So we don't have a particular time to clean up after each service? No, There's no. And just two minutes prior and then... Right, no, 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 yeah, yourself. right. So that's what I do recommend, is that, you know, normally people will finish a few minutes prior, and then after she checks your work, start putting everything away. Okay. So by the time she gets for the next one, you already put everything away from the last one. And um, she goes, you got two minutes to set up for the chemical waving. Okay, so then again, you quatch your you quatch your station with a paper towel, towel, you know, uh, clean it, sanitize your hands, and get the package out for the chemical waving. Okay, it's right here. Okay, again, take your protective covering, which is the towel, right, and on top of your stuff. Okay, then you drape your model. Now, you know the reason why I remove the Sanix because normally on chemical services you don't use the Sanix, you use a towel. Okay, so you put a towel, so you redrape. So you put a towel, right? Then this one, you don't have to section into nine sections. You get 20 minutes after you put everything, you know, they give you 20 minutes for that. Now, you don't have to section in nine, and the suggestion is this. So now you're ready to go, right? So, okay, this is what you wanna do. You can normally, you know, you'll, you'll measure this section right here, right? Okay, that's what you're gonna do. So you go here, but this time you go here, go here, go here, push this hair down, and you clamp it. Then you go here, make the other line go here, Clamp this hair. So you got a whole mohawk right here, right? Then you need to you need to um, rot from the crown to the nape. So you go here and roll this one. So you, the only section that you have loose is that one, and that's where you're gonna work from the crown to the nape. Now the nape is not down here. They're not asking. They even tell you you need to you need to rot on the middle back section, on the center back section. So that's not all the way down here. It's just this one here. Okay. All right. The rods are right over there, okay, and you're gonna put them, right? So you're in a rod, okay, and we'll give you base, again, base on what we see every day with the models, long hair, so we give you the purple. <coughs> That's because of you bringing models with long hair. But if we have the white ones available in case your model has short hair, okay? All right, so anyways, so you wrap the rods right here in this one section, okay, after you have them, Okay, then, uh, and as far as the, uh, the, the way you wrap that belongs to you, you can use one paper, you can use two, a flap wrap, book wrap, as long as you do it right, makes no difference what type of wrap you're using, okay? So you have your wrap there. After that, you need to protect, right? Now, to protect, there's a few ways. Okay, first, you have protective cream. You can use protective cream. Or, you can use cotton. Or, you can use a tool combined, but you only need one, okay, all right, and you only need to protect where the last rod is at, okay, but that's not what we suggest, so the last rod is right here down on the bottom, you only need the protective cream or cotton just down there, but the suggestion is to have the <coughs> cotton on the entire, on the entire section, wrap it around. Like how many rods? 
Mm, I was maybe if if the if it's the purple maybe six seven. If it's the white, you probably will get about eight nine. So Depends. you just leave the hair hanging out at the bottom. The rest of it, yeah, the one that you're not doing, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So anyways, you put cotton around that one section with the raza, right? Okay. Then you put the gloves there right here. Okay, and then you you step back. After you step back, if somebody comes over and she goes to you, show me saturation. Okay, then you, the cotton that we give you is long, so tear a little piece, and the, the, the chemical is right here, see? So then you start saturating using that piece of cotton at the bottom to catch in the dripping. Then finish with the saturation, you remove the cotton, you throw it away, and she goes, show me a pesco. And then you take a rod, roll it, then roll it back. And she will check about two, three rods, and you're done. There's no rinsing, there is no neutralizing, you're done. Okay, after she goes and checks, you know, some of the some of the student, then you start putting things away. You're done with the chemical waving. Alfredo, if we wrap it around the hairline, is that alright still? The cotton <coughs> rather than wrapping it just in the No, you wouldn't be making a mistake. It calls just around that one section for you. Mm, okay. It doesn't say you put it on the entire hairline. It doesn't say that. It says just around that one section. Okay. okay. Actually, it doesn't even say around the section. It says on the last rod. The last rod is this one. You need the cotton down here on the bottom. Okay. okay. So but but we, we... Huh? Like the cotton? Okay, never mind. No, the cotton is big. I know. Yeah. Alfredo, you're reading it. It says um, you'll wrap the center back section of the head from crown to nape. I read it from crown to the nape. Mm -hmm all the way to you're saying just to stay in that center well like, that's what it says on the central? first one isn't that the center one yes it's still all the center one it no says, no the center middle center one it says yeah it says you will wrap the center back section if they the wanted you to wrap the one on the lower one it'll say lower one middle and lower you know section to that it, you're oh. not even set, having to set up a period a uh, section period they're just saying you're going to have one section down here so if that's my one section, and if my section is from crown to nape, but it's, I'm reading it as from crown to the nape. But the center back, yes, like not any other one, yes, here. But well, basically, basically you're doing but, it. But students are passing both ways. I right, guess. but but no, but you're 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 reading it. Which, which section do you use to wrap at? It's basically the same section. Mm -hmm. What section do you use to wrap at? That middle section in the back, but not all the way it. down in the bottom. But well, you had before six rods, which is that one section, and it's basically the same thing. But you know, it's really, and the examiner, and the examiner will tell you that, also. Oh, the examiner shit. will tell you which section to wrap. She'll say, wrap down one section. This is what it says there. Send your back from yeah. crown to nape. Yeah. Isn't the bottom considered the nape, too? Yeah, that's why I, I was actually teaching them to go from crown down but to nape. But it says one section. section. That's why, because if it were in sections of nine, we'd only be doing the that center middle. One. We wouldn't do all the that's way the down. Way I read but would we wrap up that last hair, or would we get points if no, we can leave it loose. just left Yeah, it you can leave it loose. Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right, then. All right, so then, um, at this particular time, you take a break. Okay, and that's when the break comes up. It's a 15 minute break. So then you undrape your model, that way, you know, she doesn't have the cape and the towel outside, right? So then when you come back after your break, she goes, you got two minutes to sit out for your, for the thin lighten and retouch. Okay, so you squirt again with a pickle towel cleaner, right? Sanitize your hands and get that. And here the, the virgin hair lighten and retouch color retouch right so again you get your protective cover it out there okay all your stuff okay you drape your model now you're coming back from a break so you drape your model with the cape and another top right okay so then after she's draped then you need to do a PD test so what you want to do is you want to put the gloves on and you're gonna do a PD test it's like this right here to remind you that you have to do that if I just put two cotton balls and a cup in there you won't know what they are for okay so Let's do that PD test first, right? So what you do is, okay, is you, you know, you're wearing gloves, so you take your solution, which is right here, look, that's your solution, and you pour a little bit, just a dot right in here. You take a cotton ball, wet it with water over the trash bag, okay? Then you wash this area here or behind the ear, throw the cotton ball away. Then you go like this, excuse me, go like that and apply it. And then you throw it away and throw that one away, okay? And you pour the rest of the solution, okay, into the bowl. 
Is she gonna come around and check the PD before you? No, leave? she's just watching you doing that. Okay, this is what I use. It's not cholesterol. It's, it's gel with cream, and it rinses out real, real good. It just so you don't even have to stick your hand. You just go like that. Okay, except the rinse is not part of the example, but just to show you, it'll come out real good. Okay, all right. So it's not cholesterol what I use. All right, then. Um, so anyways, so now you have your stuff right, okay, and ready for the application. Okay, on this one, you do apply the protective cream on the entire hairline. Okay, so here's a protective cream. You put it on the entire hairline, but you've got 10 minutes for this section right now. Okay, on this one. On this one, you're going to do the lightning, right, which is part is 1 8, and the first step is half an inch away from the scalp up to 1 inch, more on the other side. So no strand, do the same thing, right, just like the middle. Finish that, then you step back. You're done with that one. You're done. No rinsing, no applying to the roots and the ends. You're done. Okay, yes. You step back, she checks it, and then she goes, you got 10 minutes for the retouch. So now you're going to do the retouch right here in the front, right? This one, you first, okay, outline it with the solution. Okay, you outline the whole, you know, section. After you outline, it's two inches of new growth, right? So this is the scalp, per se, so it's two inches here, and then more on the other side. Get another strand, and do the two inches, and you finish that. Once you finish, okay, and then she checks it, then you can start putting things away. Okay, so then you get all your stuff, you throw it inside. Now, one of the things they're looking for, because, you know, some, some, some people tell you that you can trash everything, okay, and you lose points because you trash everything. That's why you have a trash bag, you have a soil box, and you have a soil towel bag. There are three different things. What's trash goes into the trash, like gloves, that's trash. Okay, the implements go in there, they're for the implement that you can be re reused. Okay, and towels go in there. So it's just not throwing anything in just one bag and saying you're done. That, that will make you lose points in if the things are going. Okay, all right, so then um, what you do with this right here, with this solution, you just with a paper towel kind of go like this, throw the paper towel away. Okay, and this one you can put it here. Okay, so now she goes, okay, you got two minutes to set up for the relaxer and the relaxer retouch. Okay, so again, you quad your station, clean it, <coughs> sanitize your hands, and get that package out for the relaxer. Okay, all right. So again, you take everything out, right? Now, on the previous service, you had a, you had the cape with the towel, right? That's, now you can keep that same towel for the next service, which is this one. And not only that, but she was sectioning in four, right? And in two sections, you have the white thing right here. You haven't rinsed that out. And the other two sections, you have the clamps from the previous service, which is okay. You leave them. That's fine. Okay, so she's already sectioning in four. So then you put the protective cream on the entire hairline again. Then you get 10 minutes to do the relaxer here. Here's the stuff, so wear the gloves, pour the solution, and so on, right? So this one, the relaxer is half an inch away from the scalp up to one inch, right? Okay, same process, but the difference, you know, is that you're gonna use one four partings. This is one eight, this is one four, the relaxer. So it's half an inch away to one inch away from the ends, both sizes. So you finish that, and you step back. Okay, then she'll check it, right, and then she'll say, okay, you got 10 minutes for the uh, relax and retouch, which is the one in the front this time, right? So this one, okay, is a little different from the other retouch because this one is one-fourth away from the scalp. So the scalp is here, so it'll be like a little bit away from the scalp, up to two inches of new growth. Okay, so one-fourth to two inches. So finish doing that, then you step back, and she comes over and she goes, okay, show me smoothing. All right, so then this is when you go like that. So you go here, here, and no strand, go here, here, right? Well, I'm using fingers, but if you are taught, if you are taught to use your hands or the back of the comb, that's your choice. Okay. Okay. It matters which quadrant you do for each no, procedure? No, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. No, I'm just basing everything on the way it's happening now. This okay. is the way they're doing it. You know, they, they lighten here, retouch here, relax here, and retouch here. That's what they've been doing. Well, but it doesn't matter. Color, it matters. Huh? When you're lightening hair color, you always start in the back. Well, yeah, that's supposed to be like that, but to them it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. okay. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but that's the suggestion is always, you know, what we've been doing. That's what everybody does. And the barbers do it backwards. Really? Yeah. And there yeah. was another suggestion by another company, so that's why I just want to clarify. So really, to stick or it doesn't matter. No, no.
He doesn't say. It, you know, he right. doesn't say, yeah. Now, as you uh, clock your station for preparing for the next service, can you do that step after you clean up? That was my no. initial question. No, you have to do it at the beginning. You have, to, you have to do it when they tell you to sit up for, the, for that service. You got two minutes for the sitting up of, the, of that service, that's when you do it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's part of that one. But, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, if you were to do it prior, it wouldn't count. Right. Yeah. Alfredo, I just want to be really clear about the relaxing retouch. We are not touching the scalp at all. No, right? one fourth away. Okay. Okay. Then your model still has that stuff here. Okay. All uh, right. You haven't rinsed that out yet. Okay. So now, okay. There's also one bag in here that says extra equipment, and we give them extra rods in there in case you drop a few of the other ones, clamps, extra razor, scissors, cotton strips, and paper tin comb, tin brush, and a bunch of combs. They're all extra. So we always give them extra stuff. Yeah. She goes, okay, you got two minutes to sit up for okay, for the manicure. Okay? Alright, so the manicure is right over there. So that's done at the manicure table. Okay, I'm gonna just set it up over here, but it's done at the manicure table. So you're gonna quads, right? Okay, with paper towels, sanitize it and get the package out for manicures right here. Okay, you unfold the towels so that that again. You know that you don't need this towel. You don't need a protective cover, you know that. You know, I, you know that towel that I, I use, okay, you don't need that in case you don't want to use it, okay? You just, that's why you quad your station. But they do, they suggest for you to use the towel as well as sanitizing the station, okay? So that's why we have a towel as well, okay? All right, not everybody has that, okay? All right, so then um, you have a ball for the hand to go into, okay? You have a sponge, it's for your model's hand rest. Your trash bag goes on either side. Then you have paper towels, okay, one is to wrap around the sponge, one is for your lap over here, and then you have an extra one. Okay, so then um, you have your implements right here. There's a bag over here that says manicure. That's where your implements are for the manicure, return the manicure. <coughs> also, there's another bag in here that says sculpture nail. We'll get to that in a few minutes. That's another service, right? Okay, all this, there's a bag that says sodium. All this right here kind of belongs to the uh, manicure you have. You have soap, polish remover, cuticle remover, cuticle oil, and lotion. Then you have nail washes to clean under the nails and on top. Then you have base, polish, and top coat and cotton band here. Okay? All right, so then uh, first step with the manicure is to sanitize hair hand. Okay? So you give her the sanitizer, so you sanitize her hand, right? Then you remove polish, but if she doesn't have any, then you don't do that one step, then file from corner to center. After you file, then you soak the hand into the water, but there's no water. Now don't get up and get one. They hardly want you to use that sink. So what you do is take, open this one. You don't need this water anymore. Open it and pour a little bit in there and soak. So the hand soaks in there, okay, for about a minute. Take the hand out, dry it, okay, and apply the cuticle remover. And as long as the bottle's not touching the nail, this application like this is correct. Then you push the cuticle with the middle pusher flat side. Mm -hmm. After you push, then you, you clean under the nail, okay, with the orange stick and cotton and nail wash. After that, then you buff it, okay. There's a small buff in there, so you buff the nails and then the oil. And then after the oil, the brushing. Then, okay, kind of dry it and do the, do the massaging. You massage the fingers, right, you massage the palm, you massage the top part of the hand to the wrist, not to the elbow. Okay, then you um, clean again with the orange and the cotton on top of the nail plate, and then baste, and then polish, and top coat, and you're done with the manicure. The examiners, examiners say that this exam is for dummies. <laughs> the examiners say that, okay, not me. But, you know, the head examiner told me that the other day. No, it's because, you say, it's because this exam really is not a California exam. This exam is all the state's exam. It's a nationwide exam. 37 states, they were doing it, and they brought it over here. Okay, the other one was a California exam. And that's why it was a lot more difficult to pass it. This one is a lot easier. Yeah. Okay. All right, so questions on the manicure, anyone? I'm sorry, you only have 10 nails? No, no. You only manicure in one hand. Only manicure in one hand. Yes. No. 
No, no, the cut, the cut, the nipping. No, no nipping. There's no nippers on the kids. No nipping. Okay. Everything is points. The whole thing. You know, you know how the points are. You know, yes. little dots. Yes. Does a, a little dot. Oh. Okay. You know, can let me see. Yes. Okay. Okay, those little dots right here. You see them? You guys all have this. Okay. Yeah. Right. All the little dots. Those are points. Mm. There are two points, or a point and not point. 1.9 or two points, that's what they are, okay? So, you know, that, you miss that one little dot there, in other words, that step, then you lose points for that, doing that one step, okay? So they're like two points, like two points, and some services are two points, or other services are 1.9 or 1.8, depending, okay, what, how many points the service has, okay? So it starts, it starts out from scratch. You know, if you don't sanitize the table, now you lose two points. If you don't sanitize your hands now, you lost two points. That's how it is. It's from, from scratch all the way to the top, right? Okay, so the manicure, you, know, so you're not sanit you don't sanitize your hands, stuff like that, it's two points off. Now, um, quality is only two points. So you can do a really bad haircut. So that's bad. right, that's right, yeah, okay? Because, you know, that it's only two points off, and not being well blended is two points off. That's all it is, okay? All right, so then, um, we're done with the manicure, right? So then you gotta put all this thing, the towel and everything, and then you have to do the, the artificial nail. So again, you sanitize your table, take that towel out. Okay, here's your stuff for the artificial nail. So on the first step on this one is to sanitize the index finger, because that's where you're gonna do it at, with the, with the sanitizer. Then after that, you buff it in actual nail. Then you put the form, and you put the primer. The primer is here, everything is here. Then your liquid is here, put the liquid in that one. The, the whole key about the odor free product is to use hardly any liquid. If you use a lot of liquid, okay, it's not going to dry it on you. But if you use hardly any, it dries quick. The product that we give you, it dries quick with less liquid. Okay? All right, it doesn't take long. All right? Okay, so then you make your click and then, you know, make sure you don't get it on the skin or in the cuticle. Then buffer and, you know, buffer and, and file it and you're done. Okay? All right, again, it's like I said a few minutes ago. Let's say the acrylic nail is the worst nail ever. Let's say that it weighs more than two pounds, right? Okay. <laughs> okay. Then you will lose about two points if you've done everything else properly. Okay. So it looks like a shovel. Yeah. <laughs> I guess because you probably know it, but you know the basic facial. I should have done the basic facial a long time ago. But it's not happening, right? You're not doing the basic facial, so that's why uh, I didn't do it because it's not happening. It didn't start. Would there be a chance that they might give you a basic facial? Or they, they, they might if they want to, but not, not right away. You know, this, the, the exam has cost a lot of pressure for the examiners. It, it takes them a while to learn these things. And some examiners still don't, don't know yet. Yeah, really, there's some of these exams. The other day, you know, let me tell you what happened the other day. The other day, this girl comes in, right? She comes in a day before, and I see her the next day, and I say, hey, what are you doing here? You know, because... She goes, oh, well, I failed yesterday, but I'm here to get my license today. And I go, well, what do you mean? I say, what do you mean? Well, what happened was, and she said that I failed by two points. I got 223. She needed 225. I got 223, right, and I failed. But I complained because in one of the service on the retouch, the examiner only gave us five minutes. So I went to the supervisor and said, hey, look, she only gave us five minutes and I fell. Because if you don't complete your service, you lose two points. It's like I said, two points and two points, right? So she lost it by two points because she didn't complete the service. And then they went into the video because they, they video you. Okay, and sure enough, you only, you know, examiner gave you five, you know, five minutes. So she got the points and she got her license. Nice. There was two people. How okay, on the same room, there were two people, but there was one that was short nine, not nine points. Well, it's nothing that she could do, because two points wouldn't do anything for her. Okay, but that's what happened. So, so I'm just saying, in case you know, you 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 know, you get ten minutes right, and you only got five minutes. She says stop. Well, in case something like that happens, you can complain. Okay, all right. So that's what I'm saying. So, so it takes the examiners a while to understand this. Okay, and to put another one out of random, another service in there, it doesn't happen. Okay, there is, I think there is, there were four option ones, the manicure, the acrylic, the basic facial, and a roller set. Those are the four options, and they can take any one of those out, put those one back in there, whatever, but they, they don't do it. They're not going to do it, it's written down and now. So they decided not to do the basic facial, uh, one of the option ones. Okay, it's not even in the grading system.
okay? But the stuff is still in here because I, I don't want to take any chances, okay, of they saying, hey, do it now, and, you know, you don't have anything, so we still have it in here. Okay, so now we, we go into the hair removal of the eyebrows. And so, again, you sanitize your table again, okay, and then sanitize your hands and get the package out. You know, you know, your model it still has that gooey stuff on the head. You know that, right? At this time, it still has it. You haven't rinsed that out yet. Okay? So there's a trash bag. goes on the other side. Okay, this towel here is for the basic facial, but you don't need that because you're not doing the basic facial. You simply put it aside. Then you have a, a bunny that goes for the basic facial as well, but you're not doing it, but you are going to use it. And the only reason why you're going to use it for the removal of the eyebrows is because your model has that gooey stuff. And she's going to recline on the chair, and if she doesn't have anything, all this stuff is going to get on the chair, and then you have to clean it. To avoid that, put the bonnet on here. Okay, so all the stuff is going to stay in here. That's fine. So when she reclines, you don't get anything on the chair. Then sanitize your hands, right? Okay, that's the only reason why she's wearing a bonnet. Other than that, you don't need one, okay? All right, so then you have the package here. Okay. You take everything out, all right, everything out. Okay, so let me go over the procedures. This one is done individually. You got four applicants here, four applicants there, right? This one has no time because the examiner is going to come around and say, okay, show me waxing, show me tweezing. So she waits. Then she goes to the other person and does the same thing. Then the other one. So there'll be probably, you know, the ones on the other side probably be waiting for about, you know, 20 minutes, 25 minutes at the time that she gets to that section over there, right? Okay, so it's done individually, right? You sit up and you just wait for your turn, right, until the examiner gets to you. So she goes, show me the tweezing. Okay, so for the tweezing, you get a cotton ball and the antiseptic. And go here, throw the cotton ball away. Then you have in here tweezers. Wrap around the tweezers, there is a cotton ring. So you put the cotton ring and then you begin tweezing. But, but you're only pretending, you're not really tweezing anything. Okay, you pretend about six times, probably about the third time she's already annoying the examiner says, oh, stop, she'll tell you that. Okay, it's okay, all right? Then you get another cotton ball with the antiseptic and close pores, okay? So then she goes, show me the waxing, okay? Get a cotton ball with the antiseptic, go right here. Then you get the powder, there's powder in there with a Q-tip, you apply powder. After the powder, then you take the, but before you do all of these things, don't forget to wear gloves. You need to have gloves for the waxing and for the tweezing, okay? All right, so then again, you apply the powder. After you apply the powder, you, you take the wax and you test it, okay? Then throw a stick away with another stick, you apply the wax. Then you put the waxing material and then pull, right? Then uh, a cotton with post stipulation solution and then another cotton with the antiseptic and you're done. So you really are waxing? No, no, it's, it's pretending wax. It's, it's a cream, a white cream. It's not real wax. Okay, and you're done. And this one here, the arching, I mean the uh, the hair removal of the eyebrows is the one that has the most points, and it's the one that you're pretending. Okay. This one has. Okay, check this out. This one has 43 points. Okay, the manicure has 41. The uh, um. The haircut has 33, one of the chemicals has 30, two chemicals have 35, one has 30, 36. So this one has 40, 43 points in the manicure, those two are high in points. The acrylic now has 36, almost as many points as some of the chemicals. The chemicals don't have many points anymore. Any points, like I said, they're really sprayed out now. Up or? No, no, you do on the bottom here, no, just on the bottom, underneath. Yeah. And it, it matters, right? Yeah, it does. They tell you that, it's written down. Yeah. We had another demonstration. But could we also, we could pick up the kit the day before. No. We no, can't anymore? No. No, you never could. No, yeah, you could. You could go down there and, and go through the kit. But it's just like I show you. With our company, no one really come and check the kit. But you can if you want to, like a day before. Okay, and we have classes every Monday and Friday at 10 o'clock. There's no charge on these classes. The only requirement that you need to do is pay for the kit. It's a rental kit. It's $85 to rent it. Okay? So you rent it, and you can come in as many classes as you want to. In the morning exam, you already have paid for the kit, and you just pick it up. Okay? So you don't have to. We don't, we don't have a kit to, you know, to, to sell. 
And then at the end of the of the uh, arching thing, when she checks this person and she goes over there, she can now go and rinse out. So just take a towel and rinse it. Okay, that's, that's the time that they should rinse it. For the waxing, is she going to stand in front of every person? Yes, and there's one at a time, individually. Okay. Yeah. Can we, so we can rinse her, pack up, and... No, no, no. You can just rinse out, come back, and wait until every, she's done until with everybody. Every she will rinse everybody at the same time. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Not one at a time. Yeah, so some groups go faster than other groups because some groups are, you know, faster than other ones. So, like, you know, everybody finish earlier, then she'll dismiss everybody earlier, right? Or, but if everybody is kind of slow, per se, they, they, they have a time for each service, so they have to wait for that time. Right. So okay. some people, you know, you, you get a break at 915 some people break at 9.15, other people break at 9.30. You finish with the exam at 11.15, some people finish at 11.30, depending on the room. Okay, but you'll be out, at, at the latest, you'll be out at 11.30. So the, the, uh, the practical is about three hours and some minutes. It takes time on the arching, but other than that, it'll be three hours exactly. Then the written is at 12.30, so, but they tell you when you come out, when the practical, you come out like almost an hour prior, they say to you, that if you, um, okay, that in case you want to, you can take the written prior. Okay, that's your choice. But even if you take the written prior, you still could be, be getting your license around 3 o'clock in the afternoon. That's when everybody gets it, so you still gotta wait. Okay, so it, 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 your written is usually at 12.30. You get two hours finished. By 2.30, they hang around for half an hour, so at 3 o'clock is when you get your license that one afternoon. No. And you get it printed out and everything. Too, everything, right? the, all you, you just, yeah, you, you just sign it at the end. They used to have it. They used to have you sign it in front of them, but everybody was shaking, so they, you know. <laughs> now they give it to you without you signing in front, so you can sign it later. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cross out the 100 and put 85. Okay. So again, you know, uh, it's a rent to fee, right? So you can just rent it. What, when can you rent it? Okay, just this line. Okay. Uh, as soon as you know your day. You can start coming to the classes. Yeah, Mondays and Fridays at 10 o'clock is written down. Yeah, just grab one. Now, when can we uh, buy the DVD? Do you call the company? Yeah, okay, all right, so you have. Okay, I'd like to remind you then, please. Okay, um, I'm the one that conducts the classes every Monday and Friday over there. Okay, the building is there. Next to the building is a shopping center. You can park at the shopping center or you can park where we are. Each place is $7 all day. Now, we're in the shopping center, not at the state board building, right? Okay, and the classes, again, I conduct those classes Mondays and Fridays. So if you go in, over there and look for me and you don't find me doing the class, you're at the wrong place. Just go out there and look for me, okay? All right, so because it's all the companies and I, I don't want you to get confused with whatever, if you, if you want me, California Supreme Court, this is at the door right here, this logo. So make sure that you know where you're going. Okay? All right, well, I thank you very much for listening to me, and I hope to see you over there sometime. Thank you.